So today we're heading to the Ginza district to get some Ginza. To go knives. look at some things that we can't afford because the yen <laughs> is doing so well. All the world of a side is it a sneak? People everywhere just wanna be free. Listen, please, listen, that's the way it should be. Peace in the valley, people got to be free. Chuck, Chuck went and jaywalk. <laughs> I've had the sh kick out of me by Sensei before. <laughs> Seems to me such an easy, easy thing should be. Why can't you and me learn to love one another? What puzzles me is this is probably the cleanest major city I've ever been in. I've been in a lot of big cities. And what's weird is you can't find a trash can anywhere. You don't just on the street see trash cans, but there's no litter. There's no litter. I don't know what it's all about, but I feel I'll soon find out. I'm sure never felt this secure. It's nothing like I ever thought it would be. Someone opened up a door for me A girl like I'm in love Girl like I'm you I'm in love Must be you that caught this feeling in me You that fills me confidently You oh, Nobody but you Same drum fill that I always do that gets us in the back and black, you know. Yeah. You guys are the best band I've ever been on stage with, ever. You get that right? It's all right. Okay, all right. Taking the bullet train to Nagoya.
really interesting about these tunnels is it's like every time you come out, it's just different. You know, there's a lot of tunnels. Anything we like to do. American, there is Mount Fuji. We'll keep on spending sunny days this way. We're gonna talk and laugh our time away. I feel it coming closer day by day. Life would be ecstasy, you and me endlessly. We're safe and sound in Nagoya. We're walking around, just checking, checking things out. One, two, three. Good luck. Good luck. Japanese food, like a bunch of southern rednecks. No, no weed and hillbillies. Oh my god. Oh, We're man. country going to the city. <laughs> Chuck was trying to order soup and salad and she whips this out. <laughs> like this is going to help us. I thought ordering something very simple would be easy. No, no, no. See, Here she didn't understand why she doesn't read English. She didn't see that he went to school in Alabama. He barely speaks English. So. That's true. Finished our sound check at the Blue Note in Nagoya and then back to the hotel. Yes! Here we have the 2010 Nissan Silver thing. <laughs> Silver thing. Here's our backstage. You know, you think we're back here partying, whooping it up. We're getting our wardrobe together and ironing. <laughs> the Nagoya show went great. And we thought we'd take a minute after all the fun and just be a little bit serious and kind of talk about the trip and what it was like. A big reflection for me on the whole trip was um, the people, the crowds. Um, there were people just... <laughs> Standing and singing the words to every song, and we're you know, we're in a club, and it's kind of a, a little bit more structured uh, setup. And um, but those people that were just singing the words to every song, and, and the one guy last night that said he'd waited, I, I'd waited 40 years to see to see you, Felix. You know, and he had an album that he bought 40 years ago, and he had Felix sign it. You know, and there was it just the people were so appreciative and it was like playing for a crowd of, of musicians because they were so knowledgeable and so appreciative and they clapped after every solo and and they you could just tell they uh, appreciated great you know uh, american rock music and, and musicianship and as far as japan goes wow i uh, had no idea tokyo is probably the coolest big you know major city i've ever seen it's so clean and so forward thinking and it, it's almost like a future world here and I uh, loved every second of it and then we come to Nagoya and it's much more uh, 
you know, bicycle culture, you know, a lot of people on bikes and much more rural for a major city of two million people. But um, I had no idea Japan is just simply amazing. Wow, what 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 can you say about Felix Cavallari? He's like Felix is Felix is the real deal. He's um, He's been a rock star his whole life. He's just—he's a musician. He's a singer. He's a producer. You know, he's—he's uh, he's out here because he loves to play, and uh, he's out here for the music. He doesn't—he has no ego, and he—he's it's just—he totally—he's totally my kind of guy. He's—he um, does it because he loves it. The thing about Felix that impressed me the most is my first meeting with Felix. He is exactly. He turned out to be exactly what he told me he was going to be. He, he um, in our first meeting, Felix told me he's all about the music. He, he said, you know, all I'm going to do is get on stage and make great music. And that's all I care about. That's all I'm going to do. And that is exactly what he's done here in Japan. Working with Felix, it, it's been amazing. The songs, the, the history, his passion for the music. It, it has just made each and every show just the kind of shows that you start playing when you're a little kid in your basement with a tennis racket. It's the kind of thing you dream of. The cool thing is I've been a Rascals fan like my whole life. I mean, even with the Small Time Rock Stars, we've played Good Lovin' since the beginning. You know, it's one of my, been one of my favorite songs and to be able to play all these songs with Felix Cavallari has been, it's been a real treat. And another, another big thing uh, for me, that it was so special that, that the three of us, you know, my two best friends, Steve and John, we got to come out here and play, do a tour together as a band. And, and Felix really, he loved that. He loved the fact that we were all close friends and we played together for a long time. And after the first show, you know, Felix, is just, he's like, man, I just can't believe you guys learned all my music so quickly and it, and it sounds so good. And, da, 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 you know, he's, and then you get out there with Steve and Chuck and it's like, how did we get better? You know, my brothers, man. I mean, we're out here, I mean, literally out here on the other side of the planet, you know, and to be here with Chuck and John, <clears throat> my two best friends in the world, I mean, it's just, we've had a blast. That made it even more special that the three of us got to come play together and, and run around and do touristy stuff during the day and hang out all day and then go play two shows a night. That was uh, pretty, pretty special. It's a beautiful morning. On the last day of our Japan trip, finally arrived. We packed everything up and we headed to the airport. Everything went great. Everything went according to plan. What a great trip. On the flight over, everybody had their own row. Japan opened their arms to us and welcomed us. And we hope we gave them something that they could remember as well. The trip back, not so much. One, two, three. Apparently, little Richard is a dignitary here. I had one of those moments when we were playing at the Blue Note last night in Tokyo. I was like, you know, I had I broke it all down. I could hear my guitar amp and everything, and I was like, my guitar and me playing guitar and playing music has brought me all the way across the world to Japan, and uh, and I'm playing I'm playing music with Felix Cavalier with the Rascals, and I, it's just I don't know. It's one of those deals. It was really really cool. One of those moments where you appreciate playing music for a living. <laughs>